I'm Andy Fisher. I'm the Chief Analytics Officer at Merkle. And I'm here with Chris Wilson, who is the President of National Television at Rentrack, to talk about trends in the television industry. So welcome, Chris. Thank you, Andy. You know, as the summer comes to at the end, um, we're looking at the end of the upfronts. So can you share some insight about what has happened this year with the upfronts and the trends that you see? So I think, you know, probably the biggest trend with the upfronts this year is really the, the shift of a lot of the major networks to more data-driven decisioning and selling. You see folks like Viacom, Turner, NBC, uh, and many of the other major networks starting to put together uh, tools that allow them to not just sell the reach of their audience demographically, but really look at the targeting of who those audiences are by combining viewership information, with what we call advanced demographics, which is consumer information, to really show the value of that audience beyond just size. So people will look at things like uh, people in market for an automobile uh, and look at the ratings in that fashion. So they're really going in and, and talking about how uh, their audiences uh, provide uh, value beyond that and looking to be able to get premiums and larger shares uh, based on the composition of who their viewers are. Thank you. Um, Data-driven linear is one of the big hot topics of, in, in our industry. Can you share some thoughts about how, how much of the inventory is really data-driven? How much of this is, is actual data-driven sales versus just a little bit of industry hype? So I, I think you know we're really at the beginning of the data-driven uh, sales, I think, curve. Um, I don't think it's hype. Uh, I think that what's happening is as the audiences uh, begin to change for these, for these major uh, broadcasting cable networks uh, and the, the, the viewership gets fragmented across traditional live viewing, uh, time-shifted viewing, whether that be DVR or video on demand, and just the fragmentation of all the content that's out there, it's become very important for them to be able to, to look at total television viewing across platform and because of that, uh, be able to really understand who it is that's watching that from a consumer perspective. It's about accountability. It's about being able to align uh, digital advertising with television advertising. And really, the only effective way to do that is to really use data to be able to show the value of that audience. Can you talk a little bit about how the industry is changing to use, um, to better use data? So, for example, how buys are changing, how the infrastructure for measurement is changing, how guarantees are changing? Right, so it's an evolution, not a revolution, right? I mean, that's, I think, one of the things to, to keep in mind. So right now, I think you're seeing more of a blend of traditional, old-school television uh, demo-based guarantees blended with targeted guarantees. Um, and the networks are, are basically, a lot of them are bringing in more and more data people, more and more analytic folks. You know, uh, Turner's a great example of that, where they've they've brought in uh, uh, some folks from uh, on the digital side, from X Plus One and, and different organizations like that, um, to basically set up data management platforms that basically combine their viewing, combine their consumer data, uh, in certain cases, but combine information directly from advertisers to be able to create customized programs. Uh, and in exchange for that, in exchange for those services. Uh, they're able to get higher rates and larger shares. Uh, and what I think is really happening from a guarantee perspective is you're going to see your traditional demo guarantee for a while uh, supplemented with a targeted guarantee. And then over time, it'll, it'll evolve to where uh, it's much more about the performance the network provides to the advertisers. It relates to business results versus just delivery of GRPs. Gotcha. As the world becomes more data-driven, how do you see the relationship between the networks, the agencies, and the uh, advertisers changing or shifting? What needs to happen to make this, to make this move faster? I think you're going to find that it's more of a, a partnership and collaboration between uh, all parties. Uh, at the end of the day, the agency wants to provide value to the advertiser by delivering better business results. The network's going to be able to get fair value for their inventory by being able to show the business results that they deliver. So I think it's going to be a function of all of those areas, all those uh, different uh, groups working together to put together programs that are across both traditional television uh, and digital uh, and their digital assets to be able to uh, you know, drive 
uh, the results that the advertiser is looking for. And, and the advertiser will pay for them. I, they will, you know, when they see the value and they see the results in the uh, in their business, they'll, they'll pay for that performance. In many cases, we've seen uh, by optimizing uh, against advanced dem demography uh, and targeting, uh, we've seen you know cases where we've seen 30, 40 percent uh, lift uh, in using that approach versus the traditional age sex targeting approach. Thank you.